Uh, yes, it'll be a very interesting morning at Manchester United this morning. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will face the press for the first time, but he has already been speaking to the club's in-house news channel and he's been saying a lot of the right things. He, the headline to come out of it was saying that he wants to get the players enjoying football again and that was something that has been levelled at Manchester United players has, has not been happening so far. But he's, he's had this to say. Uh, he said it's about the players being proud of their performance and the supporters being proud when they walk off the pitch. We've got to get used to winning again and challenging for trophies. This is, those are the, the, the big takeaways from what he said and I think that's, that's quite a big deal considering the size and stature of of a club like Manchester United. How does it work with caretaker coaches though? Do they have the possibility of staying on or is he just purely on loan for the season and is going back again? And, and what type of incentives does that create? This is a very unique situation for a caretaker manager because he has a job at the moment in mm. Molde in Norway but because the, the winter uh, break of, of their season, the way that their season's structured, he's not actually due to, that season doesn't start until March but he's actually been loaned loaned by uh, that club until till May. Now, he's such a fan's favourite at Old Trafford, winning the Champions League with them in 1999 quite famously. Uh, but the compensation uh, numbers that have been banded about, that have been paid to uh, Mulder for, from Manchester United uh, in the British media seem way out of kilter. And I've got sources with, with close to this deal that say that it's, it's nothing like the Two million, two point two million dollars being reported. Much more may likely to be maybe a quarter of that number. Oh. Now, S Manchester United are saying that they are uh, looking for a full-time manager. That's still that's still the case. And Solskjaer is on is is just as has just as much right to be considered for that position as anyone else Can I ask you about his skill set? Because there's just been a report yeah. from uh, someone who's worked with him before at Old Trafford and they said you know, that effectively he was very good for the forwards, but he's going to have to be an all-rounder now. Is that, do you think he can deliver those skills required? Well, that's what um, a manager has to be. They have to do lots of different things. Now, the way that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer uh, played his uh, football, he scored over 100 goals for Manchester United, but and he wants to play attacking football as well. So that's what he's going to have to do. Now, uh, again, he's going to be involved in everything. Even though he's a caretaker manager, he is going to have a say in transfers in January, but the club say that is generally a very difficult thing to do as well. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.